Hi guys, I'm Lucera and today I wanted to talk a little bit about um, being an expat and adjusting to life after living in a different country. I found that there aren't a whole lot of resources for this, um, especially on YouTube, and not a lot of people talk about the difficulties and um, challenges that come with being an expat and being an ex expat. If you're unfamiliar with the term, um, expat is short for expatriate and according to dictionary.com to expatriate is to withdraw oneself from residence in one's native country. So people who are expats have basically left their native countries either for work or for school or other reasons. I found that that doesn't necessarily mean that you immigrate to another country and you don't necessarily become a citizen of your new host country so it's kind of like being in limbo being in between two countries at once i did find this really cool blog called the culture blend which i'll have linked down below and they have really really helpful articles for repatriating and going back to your country of origin to give you just a tiny bit of background i moved overseas from the united states when i was 10 years old so i spent three and a half years in cyprus and then i spent five years in dubai and now i'm back in the united states States as a college freshman in Texas. It's been kind of tricky along with a lot of the other adjustments that people my age have to make, you know, being a teenager or a young adult is a challenging time um, to say the least and it can be very much full of change um, that isn't even involved with being an expat. So I wanted to share some of these tips because I know that the change has been interesting for me and I want to help others as much as I can because there's some things I would have liked to know earlier. Tip number one is find your people. Now this doesn't mean that you have to find other expats because depending on where you go back home to um, you might not find any but for me I've really enjoyed finding others who connect with me on the fact that they were expats at some point or they've at least visited Dubai or they've traveled a lot and they know what other countries are like and how different it can be. It's really important because this will help you find people to talk about your experiences with. I know from my past I get really frustrated when I try to explain what living overseas was like or what being in Dubai was like to people who've never experienced um, being in, in a different country. This doesn't mean that you should exclude people who've never left the country or who've never traveled, but for those personal conversations where you're talking about your adjustment, you're talking about what life was like, you're talking about how you feel about the change, it is important to have other people who can relate to you and who can understand. And being able to work through the changes with other people is very, very useful and very validating. Tip number two is don't feel guilty. When you experience a big change, whether that's moving to a different country or coming back to your country of origin, there is a lot of change and with that change you're bound to experience a wide variety of feelings and um, emotions about those adjustments and you really don't need to add guilt to that. For me personally, I was not 100% looking forward to moving back to the US um, for a variety of reasons. I mean, I just didn't want to move back to Texas and I had found a community in Dubai that I really enjoyed and I really didn't want to leave. Of course, I was very excited about starting college slash uni and um, I was very, much looking forward to this new experience but I wasn't looking forward to the fact that it was in Texas and um, I didn't feel at home in Texas and to be quite honest even after my first semester I still don't and that's fine. It can be really tricky trying to explain that to other people because I think there's this assumption that living in a host country is difficult and going back to your home country is a relief and for me it was kind of the opposite and so when people try to tell me that I must feel 
really excited to finally be back home and to finally be away from the Middle East and all those things. Um, I just wanted to shake them. I wanted to, you know, yell in their faces and be like, how dare you assign those assumptions and feelings to me without my expression of those feelings. Don't assume that I want to be here. Don't assume that I want that I ever wanted to leave Dubai. It was really hard to kind of reconcile with that and kind of feeling like a traitor because I didn't want to be here. I think it's really important to recognize that, you know, your feelings about the situation and the change don't reflect your character and if you didn't want to come back to your home country, that doesn't necessarily make you a traitor and if you actually felt a lot of relief leaving your host country and returning to your country of origin, that also doesn't necessarily mean that you were stubborn or didn't want to adjust or whatever. The fact of the matter is that these experiences are really, really different for everybody and I'm sure that if somebody else had lived through my exa exact same path, they would probably have different feelings about it than I do. Harboring guilt about the way that you feel one way or another isn't a healthy way to deal with them. And the best way is just to kind of accept that you feel a certain way and accept that the change is hard or maybe it's easy or um, any variety of things and just work through them that way because guilt doesn't help anything, especially when you don't have anything to feel guilty about. Now I saved the best tip for last because this is the one that was most helpful to me and I um, stumbled upon this particular article about a month or two into my semester and it really affected the outlook that I had um, towards repatriating and it is to live with grace and to live with as much grace as you can. What this looks like in practice is being patient, being gentle, and being understanding of both others and yourself. For me, the way that I showed my grace towards other people was by remaining nice and friendly and amicable even when they didn't understand where I was coming from or made really poor assumptions about my life or ex demonstrated really prejudiced views. People have asked me if I knew terrorists. They asked me if I was repressed or oppressed. Um, they asked me if I rode a camel everywhere. They asked me if I rode a golden plated Lamborghini everywhere. When you receive these kinds of comments and um, remarks based on assumptions of your host country, it can get really, really, really frustrating. Being angry and being um, offended all the time also isn't very helpful for you or for them. So the best thing to do is just live with grace and let these remarks roll off your back. Um, that can look very different depending on the situation. Um, for example, um, at the beginning of the semester, I had um, a boy talk to me about Dubai and he said something along the lines of, you must be like super rich, right? And I remarked, I was like, <laughs> no. Uh, he was like, no, but like everybody there is a millionaire or a billionaire. And I was like, no, and I kind of handled it with a little bit of snark and a little bit of sarcasm and I could definitely have been a little bit nicer about it. Um, and if you compare that to like a few weeks ago where I was talking to another person about um, where I lived previously and he said, oh, you must roll up to campus in like a Ferrari or something. And I handled it with much more calm and grace and a sense of humor and I said, you know what, if I had a Ferrari I wouldn't be here, honestly. It was much easier to deal with that way. But I also think it's really important to extend grace towards yourself. I think when you're adjusting to your host country, it's a lot easier to give yourself patience because, well, of course you wouldn't know about these customs or of course you wouldn't be able to understand what people were saying because this is not your country. So it's a lot easier to give yourself time to adjust to being in this new environment, but because your home country is kind of like your old environment and it's what you're supposed to be used to, it can be really hard to give that kind of grace and give that kind of patience towards yourself. For example, two weeks into the semester, I was going from class to class and I got rained on. 
I didn't have rain shoes, I didn't have an umbrella, I didn't even at that time own a jacket with like a hood. It was fine, the, the weather was really warm so being rained on didn't get me sick, didn't you know affect me negatively but just the whole time I was walking I felt so stupid because of course I should have checked the weather of course I should have you know made sure that rain wasn't in the forecast of course I should have had my umbrella with me just in case but um you know the truth is that's not what I was used to I had spent five years in the desert where I kind of assumed that every day was going to be really hot really sunny and sometimes there was sand so of course I wouldn't ever think about the forecast it's not that I had forgotten to check the weather that morning I just it didn't even occur to me I wasn't even checking it you know another time I walked into CVS because I needed to pick up some snacks or food actually and there were just so many choices. <laughs> there were so many choices for cereal and so many choices for soup and so many choices for soda. And I got really overwhelmed and I walked out without buying anything. So I was like, you know what? No, I can't do this. There's too many choices. I can't decide. That was something that was kind of embarrassing for me because I, I shouldn't have been overwhelmed. I shouldn't have um, gotten so flustered by all the choices that I just walked out without buying anything. I walked out still hungry. Truth is, you know, I had spent five years overseas where it just, it doesn't even matter where you are. In general, no store, no grocery store is going to have as many options as an American grocery store does. That's just it. America is like really weird about having like 10 different varieties of Oreos. Did you know that, that those exist? There's like 10 and there's like 20 right now because it's the holiday season. I needed time and I think that the hardest person to extend a grace towards is yourself. If that's something that you're struggling with, just remember to give yourself time and the patience that you would extend towards somebody else because even though this is your home country and you of course should know how everything works, it's okay if you don't. Adjusting to your home country after being away for long periods of time can be just as difficult if not more difficult than adjusting to your host country that you lived in previously. Those are my tips. Um, just to give you a quick recap, they are find your people, don't feel guilty, and live with grace. I find those things really really helpful and um, I hope that they help you. Good luck with repatriating and it's tough but you'll be okay. I promise you'll be okay.